uh, on the first bit you get this state and then when you do the C naught which will sort of change does not change the second bit but will change the second bit you will end up with this state 1 over square root of 2 0 0 1 1 and this is a very interesting state because it um, it was uh, it's called the APR pair and uh, after their inventors Einstein, Podolsky, Rosen and actually in an, in, an, in an attempt to show that quantum mechanics was incomplete at least and it, it's incomplete for the following reason they argued look if you have this state and then notice that Alice contains this first qubit so this first register and Bob contains the second one and now if if we apply the, 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 the axioms of quantum mechanics and we measure this, then Alice will measure with probability a half, a zero, or a one. And Bob also, if he measures with probability zero or one, he will measure that. But um, if Alice measures a zero, then the state collapses to this state by the, by, by the, by the this, uh, description of quantum mechanics, and Bob will also measure a zero. So in particular, if Alice measures a zero, she knows that Bob will also measure a zero. In particular, his state has changed into the zero. zero. Right? It was a, a probability of zero and one, and now it's a zero. And they reason that, well, this cannot be, because now information about Alice's measurement has sort of traveled immediately to Bob, and that, that cannot have, have been. So quantum mechanics has to say something more about the situation. This cannot happen. And for one, of course, similar. Well, this, this is a picture, and uh, nothing can go faster than the speed of light, hence quantum mechanics is incomplete. Um, okay, so, so these, these, these pairs are called EPR pairs, einstein podolsky rosen pairs, consisting out of two qubits, and you can have many more of them. <coughs> Again, you can show that if you have these EPR pairs, actually, you cannot use them to send the information to even compress information, just like Kolebo's theorem, you can show that if Alice and Bob have, have these EPR pairs, they cannot use them together with classical bits to compress a message of k bits into k minus one bits. Note that my communication here is just classical. So you should be happy now with this statement. With, but that's still <laughs> but I give them e EPR pairs. In, in, in so is this a uh, generalization of Kolebo's theorem? Um, in some sense, it's th it's it's a similar statement uh -huh. because I I don't have qubits but I have EPR pairs. Uh huh. I see. Um, so there's one thing, teleportation, which uh, is not this, but it's this, and I will just briefly s tell you what it is. Alice Alice has the state alpha zero and beta one that she wants to send to Bob. But of course, the channel that she has is only classical. So, and we know, so that's impossible, right? There's no way she can send this, this state to Bob over a classical channel because if she, she would be able to do that, then, then she has to tell Bob what is alpha and what is beta. And if the state is unknown to her, she cannot do that. Right? There's no measurement that will allow her to figure out what alpha and beta is. If it was, then there, she would be able to plan which was impossible as we saw yesterday. Um, so what teleportation is, is the following. It is possible if, however, Alice and Bob met before, created an EPR pair and shared this EPR pair. So Alice and Bob met before and now they traveled and Alice is in Moscow and Bob is in Amsterdam, say. And um, Alice says, I encountered this beautiful, nice qubit here in Moscow and you should also try it. It's really wonderful. <laughs> on the phone that doesn't work, but uh, with the EPR pair it does work because teleportation is the following. It says there is a measurement that Alice can do to her system, to, so to the unknown qubit plus the, the, the EPR pair, the one half of the EPR pair, which will result in two classical bits, B1 and B2, that she can send to Bob, and then because of the measurement his system somehow has collapsed, and <coughs> when he knows what B1 and B2 are, he can apply a unitary, one out of four unitaries to his system, and when he does that, he miraculously has 
the, the unknown qubit in his hands. Uh, this qubit is homopologium based, right? <laughs> that could we be, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's another explanation. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Um, okay, this, l I actually have the, the, the protocol here, but I don't, let's not go through, through that because um, then I really go too, too much over time. For those who are interested, I can show afterwards. Um, <coughs> teleportation has been tested and has been done over many kilometers, by the way, physically in the lab. So this is also not just science fiction. Um, <coughs> But let me tell you why I think it tells you something interesting about physics and about particular Einstein's objection to quantum mechanics. Um, so now let's look again at, the, at quantum communication complexity. Alice and Bob still send back and forth classical bits, but I equip them with EPR pairs, as many as they like. Okay, so this is like another model of communication complexity. Communication is classical, but they have on the side EPR pairs. <coughs> Think of it as like having shared randomness, now they have shared quantumness. And of course the question is, can EPR pairs reduce communication for certain apps? And the answer is yes, <coughs> because I can use teleportation together with the qubit protocols that I told you about earlier, because the qubit model can be simulated by the EPR model at the cost of two bits. Right? Because if Alice wants to send the qubit to Bob, in the qubit model she just sends it, but now in this model, she teleports it at the cost of two classical bits, right? Alice has a qubit that she wants to send to Bob. She then does the teleportation scheme and sends, instead of this bit, she sends two classical bits to Bob, and they waste one EPR pair doing that. <coughs> so if I have a, 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 a protocol that uses k qubits, then in this sense I have a protocol that uses 2k classical bits. So in particular, if you take this this disjointness, this disjointness problem or appointment scheduling where Alice and Bob share entanglement and then they send back and forth bits, then quantumly, meaning in the EPR case, they only need to send square root of n bits, whereas classically, that without the EPR pairs, they have to send still a linear number of bits. Um, so, EPR pairs and information, you cannot use EPR pairs to send information from Alice to Bob. However, you can use them to save information from Alice to Bob. So in a way, I think it's, it's, it's nice, at least for me, ah, this is Dutch. Um, mm -hmm. um, this should be end, this is an end in Dutch. Um, um, <coughs> it says that um, EPR pairs cannot be used for information, but nevertheless, there's some they can help you to reduce information for a particular task. So some information is saved by using them. Okay. okay. Questions. Ah, then I have one announcement. So today lunch is uh, served downstairs. Uh, this building, Stalovo. Uh, and everybody need to. I think that's for that. I So, but uh, everybody needs to have a ticket. If anybody doesn't have a ticket from me. But Sasha, you're happy with the statement saying if I have n bits and I want to have the message, I can always in all the relatives. If you send a message that's fewer than n bits, you still have the message. No, but you think of it as an or if I have an incompressible string, then I cannot give it to you without sending it to me. The of course, it's just a way to say to, say, uh, uh, to formulate the uh, pigeon uh, hole principle in classical case. But in quantum case, probably you mean something more delicate, not just you, you need to formulate it somehow. It's not just saying. Uh, I guess you could formulate it the same way, but it's not how all labor did it. But how can I have to tell you what the quantum channel is? What did you want to put 
Но провести это с помощью этого чека все равно невозможно. А может быть ты наоборот можешь получить сам деньги. Нам ничего возвращать, естественно, не нужно, но может не No, what you do is you say, I have, I have, I have to do some of my I have to do some of my money. I have to do some of my money. I have to do some of my money. And the third part, I just made it just a single yeah. qubit, that is what I call the channel. And now, communication of one bit qubit from Alice to Bob is the following. It's a unitary yeah. that is all, that only acts on Alice's space and plus yeah. the channel space. Yeah. Then that's yeah. one. one. Yeah. And now Bob is, a, and then Bob can do unitaries that depend on mm -hmm. the, the, his memory and the channel. Yeah. And that's another qubit sent from both to Alice. And so that's how you, and the number of uni, such unitaries used is, yeah. is the number of qubits sent. Okay, so if you, you say that you, you, yeah, so for example, you can have a, a, a long, a long, the, the size of the, the common space, yeah. the dimension of the common space can be arbitrary. Yeah, but let's <laughs> fix it to be one qubit. I fix that to be one qubit. But So you, you count you count the huh? Yeah, so you fix yeah. fix it to be one qubit yeah. and, and the, the sending one qubit is that one unit to the operator. Yeah. For example, then there were two qubits, so it's one operator. It's sending two qubits or sending one. So what is the channel consistent? If channel is a two qubit, but you make one unit to the operator, then that will come as two. But let's fix it to be one qubit and let's count the whole How many you do share? Yeah, you yeah. 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 And then, for one problem, you use some people. Alice. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You want Bob to output X. But you give this input just as a pure state. So I can get a part of Alice's state. It's pure state. All of these states are pure. It's just a pure state. X. N bit state. Sure. Yeah, so, so you initialize everything, everything is empty, but, but the, this part is in, in, in pure state. Yeah, everything is pure state, but this part is in classical state. And then the task is that you have to come up with a protocol, or protocol you meaning a sequence of units. You want to end so that, that, uh, that, that this with high probability. Yeah, with high probability. Or, however you want to do mm -hmm. whatever you like. So mm -hmm. that if I measure uh, if I measure the yeah. state on both sides, yeah. then I should make, I should have X. Mm -hmm. I should have all mm -hmm. for all in its yeah. implications. And, and, and what